Hello everyone. Welcome to Capture by Mark Campbell Productions. My name is Carrie. I am the studio manager and the lead photo editor at Mark Campbell Productions. And I'm gonna be your host for this series. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk you through Lightroom with a step-by-step -step guide so that you can eventually use Lightroom on your own. So let's just jump right in and get started. So in this first episode, we're going to start with the basics of creating a new catalog in Lightroom. The first thing you'll need to do is download Lightroom if you haven't done that yet. Uh, you can click on this link in our description and it will take you to this page. Uh, Adobe has a couple of different versions of Lightroom. For these tutorials, we're going to be using Adobe Lightroom Classic, which is what this download is for. So once you've downloaded the software and installed it, you will double click on the icon to open it. You'll see this screen pop up that just shows its opening. And then you may or may not have a catalog that opens. This is just a general catalog. Uh, if you don't want to use this default catalog, you can set up a new catalog and you just go to up here to file to new catalog and then you just select where you want to save your catalog so I'm just going to save this to the desktop and you'll name it so I'm going to name this as capture tutorial and once you've done that you just click create and then Lightroom is going to uh, close the catalog that was open and then it's going to open this new catalog that you're creating. So one helpful piece of information that I feel like not a lot of people go over is that you can only, you can only have one Lightroom catalog open at a time. Uh, knowing that may help you decide if you'd like a new catalog for each project you're working on or if you'd like to use one large catalog for all of your projects. So now that we have this open, what do you do? Well, that's where we're going to pick up in our next episode, so I hope you'll join us, join us for that, and please remember to subscribe.